Welcome back to a brand new video. Okay, I'm excited for this. Let's test it. Is this the best trolley that money can buy? We're gonna be testing out on the golf course, because that's where we use them, Power Caddies FX7 GPS. The all singing, the all dancing electric oh. golf cart. Let's go. Okay, before we head out on the golf course, um, and play a few holes here at Motcham Hall on the 14th. Uh, I want to just tell you a few features about what I think is a pretty much all singing, all dancing trolley. Okay, so first off, we have touchscreen display, which is in colour. Pretty nice. We also have a shot distance feature, so you can measure how far you hit a shot. You've also got distances to the front, middle and back, and you can also see how far you have to certain hazards. Other things are that you got 40,000, which is a lot of golf courses when I think about it, 40,000 golf courses linked onto this trolley. You can also add other features on here, charge USB devices, and well, fold down with a small compact battery. There's pretty much a lot going on here, isn't there? I'll put a full list of all this down below, but let's get into actually testing this out on the golf course, because if you're gonna invest what is a considerable amount of money is it any good? Let's go. Well, I've hit me trusty fairway finder. <laughs> it's a little bit heavy, but nevertheless, we are down the fairway. Okay, so we're gonna test a few things here. That needs a wipe. We're gonna test a few things here, all about this trolley. But first off, let's put the shot distance measure to the test because I will be interested to see how far I've hit that, even not on, a, not on a good one. So the few things that I would have in my head when I'm purchasing a trolley and what I would like to test is, what's the maneuverability like? Is it noisy? How does that touchscreen work? What's the shot distance feature like? And is the GPS accurate? Right, let's get down here. Oh, and one final thing. Are the speeds any good when you're changing? Let's get down the hole. I want to point out, do stick around to the end because I'm going to give you three things I love and three things I hate about this trolley. Okay, stick around to the end. Also, who prefers trolleying to carrying out on the golf course? I think in America you call it carts. So get in those comments. And is there anything that you would recommend on this? So first thing we've tested is the shot distance feature. 193 yards, and after much deliberation between me and my dad, who's behind the camera, we've worked out that that's pretty accurate. I even went to the point of standing back there and measuring it with my gold buddy GPS, and uh, yeah, it's pretty accurate. So first off, that's a bit of a tick. Now, if you come a little bit closer here, I wanna just talk about sort of this touch screen, because when I hear touch screen on a GPS like this, I get scared. I think, oof. Is it going to be responsive? Now, after working out on some of the features to change from the green to yardage to where the hazards are, it's not touch, it's swipe. It works brilliantly. <laughs> but straight away at the start, I was like, this thing's not working. But once you get past that, once you work out which way you have to slide to change to certain features, it's actually nice and responsive. So let's have a look how far we have here. 152 to the middle. Let's hit this one to the green and talk through a new, some more of these features. The next things I want to look at here is, firstly, noise. Because there is nothing more annoying than having a trolley that goes Ehh. I'm one of them players that as my playing partners are playing, I like to, well, keep moving. It keeps the pace of play up. So first off, that gets a good tick. I mean, I can't really hear it at all. Only thing I can really hear is sort of my clubs jangling, which is absolutely fine. Now, the next thing is that maneuverability of a trolley. In the past, when I have had trolleys, I have hated when you sort of move this area up and down and there is too much play in it. Now, we need a bit of play for a little bit of give, but like this, it's nice and sturdy around this bracket, which fills me with confidence if you're gonna be using this throughout the season, like maybe like 40, 50 rounds, um, really putting it to the test. Next thing is speed. Now, there's 
again, nothing worse than a trolley that's too slow than the next one you're blooming running after it. This one is really quite nice because you've got one all the way, let me get this completely right for you here, one all the way up to nine, okay? But it doesn't just click from one, then to two, then to three. You have like three or four little junctions in between. So you could be like two and a half, three and a half, four and a half. You can really adjust it to fit the speed at which you walk at, which is really nice. Okay, let's crack on. Now I'm just gonna be quiet for literally three seconds here. You can't hear the trolley like I was just saying back there. Okay, the next point I wanna get into is actually this bag. When you are buying a bag like, or a trolley like this I should say, it's really important to actually get a trolley bag or a cart bag because it moves around, it sort of, well, it doesn't fall off. As you can see, I've tested it on the side of a slope here and actually the 13th hole. The bag stays on good, the trolley doesn't tip, it's really well balanced. But by the time you get round to the end of a golf course, your cart bag will be fine. But your trolley bag like this, it'll move all over the place, your straps will get in the way and there is nothing worse. Let's even get this up and down and I want to have a look at the build quality a little bit more. Oh, we'll take that. Let's have a little bit of a look at the build quality of this trolley. This is something that I think trolley manufacturers, I remember my dad's first one, it was horrendous. It was built in like three or four different parts and it literally looked like a lawnmower. Um, they've come a long way since then and it definitely made a bad noise. Um, we do have plastic wheels. Now, even though they are plastic, I like the colour for one and they feel quite sturdy. So as a, as a sort of a weight saving measure, that is brilliant. The things that I like about this trolley is these two bars right here compared to sort of one. It gives it that sturdiness, it gives it that structure, but it still looks nice and sleek. I have to say, my favorite feature is the fact that this battery fits in quite nicely and it's easy to take it in and plug it back in and the carbon fiber finish. I love a little bit of carbon fiber. But mostly, this is the best thing. Are these bungee cords, these here, because in the past, and I mentioned this about my bag, even though it's not the right bag, the fact that these are bungee car cords, they stay on nicely, which is, well, I guess super nice when you're going up hills like this. Okay, there's one thing I've not tested here yet. I'm gonna test, we're gonna actually do a little bit of a test here. I'm gonna choose an area where if my trolley went too far and the shot distance feature didn't work, well, it's game over. And obviously that does depend on a bit of my intuition on how far that distance is. Let's give it a test. Okay, so if you just spin to your right, Dad, and have a, show everybody the bunker there, I'm guessing that to the edge of the fringe, which you can just see as you pan back, is about 15 yards. Let's see how close I can get. So I think I can, I can set this to, um, I do it in fives, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, all the way to 50 yards. I'm gonna go on the edge of the side of caution here and go 15. And she's away. Heart is in your mouth, everybody here. <laughs> this could end up in the bunker if it's not right and I'm not gauged this right. Oh. I tell you what, that is a great advert for this trolley because it is not falling over. It did go 15 yards, but I miscalculated that slope. Um, but I told you it was well balanced. Okay, final bit of this video. Let's get into I love and I hate about this trolley. On to a little bit more of a serious note after that. I just want to reiterate, it did stop. I just miscalculated the slope. Okay, th three things that I love and hate about this. We'll start with hate first. Number one, when it arrives, you've got to build it. I know it's only putting the front wheel on, but still it's a little bit of a pain. That would be the first one. Number two, and probably only a pain for me because I'm not very good at anything like that. Um, number two on our list is the fact that it doesn't fold down very small. Now I know Paracaddy offer it uh, one that does fold down smaller, but for me in the back of a car, saving space and easier to lift, this one doesn't do that, but I, I love the design, okay? Finally, or the third point that I hate about this is it's not heavy. The one thing I would say, it's just a bit awkward. I know that's a bit of a lame thing to say, but yeah, 
They're the three things that I don't like about this trolley. Get in those comments if there's anything you want to add to this. Okay, three things I love about this trolley. Number one, the look of it. I think this looks, honestly, like one of the best trolleys on the market. The carbon fiber look, the sleek design, and it just looks brilliant with that big display. Number two, I love this. The GPS and the touchscreen, they sort of go as one for me because they're on this bit just here. It's brilliant, it's all in one place. And the final thing, I mentioned this walking down the hole. When your playing partners are playing, it's great to be able to keep pace of play up. So this is not very noisy at all. The only thing you've got to worry about is that jangle, because I've heard people's trolleys, i.e. my dad's about 15, 20 years ago, was literally like your washing machine. Terrible. He's laughing behind the camera because he knows which one I mean. But anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching this video. I do hope you enjoyed this review of what I think is pricey, but the best trolley that money can buy. Thanks so much for watching.